talk about um, the generations and the so we want to make it a better place for our children, for our children's children, so that they, 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 they know it's a better world for them and think they can make it a better place. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love. Much brighter than tomorrow And if you really try You'll find there's no need to cry In this place you feel there's no hurt or sorrow There are ways to get there If you care enough for the living Make a little space Make a better place Heal the world From Power Restored Academy. Power Restored Academy is a school that started in 2015 from Abwadi. The reason of this school being started or starting this school is when I came to Adaku with my husband. My, my husband was posted to Adaku Abwadi as a health worker. I joined him in 2015, October, and moving around the community, visiting parents. Looking at the, the environment, I realized there are school going children at home that need good and quality education. So, because of the passions I have for kids, I decided to start a place to enroll children, give them good and quality education. So, I started by looking for a place that I can give in or impart knowledge with the help of some few people that can help us impart the knowledge that the kids of other people needed. In search of a place to start this, we went around and met a structure that belongs to Mama, the late Mama Apedima, the Queen Mother of Hadakunu. So she gave us a place in 2016 and we started this. And for three years, because of the cracks on the building, the place became like a death trap. So you have to move and relocate. We got a land at Trepe 2020. We have to start a new place. And we started, after COVID break, we started a new place and we have to continue the schooling. We have to be going to school. So we came to the church of Pentecost, the pastor, Pastor Felix Bakatu, for the executives to plead for their church premises to be using. This is how can we acquire this place that we are using for now. This is not the, the land that we started up. We have to use for our school building. The land is at Shwepe. That is one acre land, four building plots. We have gotten to the, the footing level that because of financial issues and financial problems, we got stuck on the way. And now we don't have anything to move on. The reason why we've acquired one acre land is we are looking at having a community library. 
that can save the community. Looking at Adaku, where we are, you, you see kids, children, they have a lot of things in them, but what to bring it out of them, it's not there. We know and we believe that when you have a community library, and it is being open to everyone, both the government school and even the private school, and everyone around the community, to benefit from the community library. I know and I believe in the near future, Adaku is going to be great. We want to inspire all children, not the children alone in Power Restored Academy, but rather every child, seeing a school going child, having the best education. That is why we love to have the school library or the community library. Currently, by the grace of God, as Power Restored Academy, we, we started from scratch and currently we are at grade 7 and we look forward to have SHS as Power Restored Academy. Power Restored Academy has a vision of inspiring children to have passion for education, long-term education, so that they will grow to be responsible citizens and live on their own. Currently, Power Restored Academy have eight teachers instead of 20 teachers. The strength of the teachers is not encouraged. The reason being that the school is not able to afford the salary or the allowance, allowances of the teachers because the kids are not paying, because it's a school that is non-profit making organization so we hardly we manage the little that we have to pay the teachers we, due to that we have less teachers our teacher salary is paid from my husband's pocket we, due to that we don't have adequate teachers because at times we, we we don't have the money to meet what they want we do school feeding, feeding program too that is what we take three cities a day as a child is being fed on three cities even that parents are not able to afford but what do we have to do we have to continue we can't sack the child and we can't leave the child to stay in school from morning seven o'clock till 3 30 and go home with empty stomach we do all this only in the pocket of my husband and we are moving on and trusting god for a better tomorrow the, the kids are really doing well the kids are really doing well they are amazing at times when you go to their class looking at their performances you know we have more way to go a long way to go with people coming to our aid, with much effort being put in place, with teachers around and the adequate number of teachers we want, when we get them, we know our kids will do better. And our vision of inspiring the children to have passions for education will be acquired greater. Our doors are open for donors or sponsors who would like to pick children or pick a child to look after. The reason being that some of our children in this community are staying with their aged grandmothers that are not having money, cannot afford their needs. And even the government school, they cannot afford their needs, their textbooks or their exercise books. So I decided to bring them to Power Restored Academy Foundation Limited to look after them. These are some of the reasons why we started a school feeding program. Because these children come to school, they feel relaxed. If not for anything, they'll get food at school and eat. And later, for clothing, the school provides them school uniform. So our doors are open for donors, for lovers of these children who love to help. Because when you see these kids at school, they feel more happier. At times you close from school, they don't love to go home. Because they know that when they get home, they're not going to have any joy. We play to our listening. Whoever that, that is watching us, and these kids play, that you should come to their aid. My name is Enima Matoda. I attend Power Restored Academy Foundation Limited. The school is located at Adaku Abulipe in Volta region. I come from Adaku Abuadi. I walk four miles to the school and four miles to the house. The reason why I decided to come to Power Restored Academy is that the, the teachers take their time to teach and explain what the student cannot, cannot understand. That's why I came to Power Restored Academy Foundation. I wish we move to a block building school. This is what we are asking for you, our supporters. Thank you. My name is Nimpa Brakatu. I am in grade 3. The name of my school is Power Restored Academy Foundation Limited. I am not happy when we sit under the tree. When Eva is about to bring me, quickly pack our chairs and table into the room. So I am pleading with sponsors to come and help us build classroom. My name is Emmanuel Haji. I am in basic six. The name of my school is Power Restored Academy. Money ever is about to be. 
we need to pack our tents and go to the chapel. So we need sponsors to help us to build, build our classroom for us. My name is Agumogeni. I am a student of Fire Restored Academy. I am in grade 7. Because our class is open in, and it's under a tree, whenever we are learning, the cocks, dog, goats and other animals distress are learning. My name is Azi James. I am basic 6 learner. In my former school, I found it difficult to speak English. When I came to Power Restored Academy, I can read, speak English well, and write it, and write. So I want sponsors to become a sponsor a, a school, a school, and build a classroom block for us. Thank you. My name is Akoto Gitsi. I'm in grade C. My former school is Bokoji P Basic A School. And I'm currently schooling at Far Restored Academy Foundation School. My parents moved from Bo to Adaku. The few challenges I faced in Far Restored Academy is we are, we are learning under tree, which is an open space. Sometimes when cars are passing, we get distracted from what we are learning. I'm Helen Ceci, a teacher in Power Restored Academy Foundation. I've been in the school for four years now. Where we normally stayed for classes is not convenient. As you don't come to school in the morning, you have to move. We have to move the things from the chapel, come arrange the classes. Sometimes after arranging the class, it, it takes like one hour before we'll be able to set the class and it disturbs and distracts our lessons. Also, uh, we have been lacking teachers for a while now due to finance, uh, financial problems. We wish to get sponsorship from organizations and individuals to help us complete our school building and also help us to get some teaching and learning resources like tables, chairs and books so that we will be able to do more. Uh, we have uh, some success stories as in a student who was moved from our school to another community and she was in basic three, that's grade three, and now she is in basic five in the next community. Uh, one to was moved from KG1 over here to the government school, now in basic two. That is a success story. And we know when we get a school, build, a school block, that is the building, and when we get more resources, I'm sure we can do it. More parents are willing to bring their children to the school, but because of the trees or where we are now, they are not all that comfortable. A teacher at Far Restored Academy Foundation Limited. I am a grade 2 teacher. I love teaching at Far Restored Academy and I love seeing the children around. Considering their class, they are, they are doing very well. And one problem that is facing our school is lack of school bus. And sometimes students work four to five miles before they come to school. This sometimes affects the early morning classes that we organize. Sometimes when it rains in the morning, they have to come to school. They cannot say because of the rain, they will not come to school. They walk all the way from their homes, which is five miles from here. So, my name is Doreen, current head teacher at Paris Sun Academy Foundation Limited. Handling grade four. However, due to lack of sufficient teachers, we have to run almost all the classes. We have to go and occupy any available space since we don't have enough teachers. So I'll be very glad if we could get the sponsorship as in finance by our sponsors so that we'll be able the school will be able to employ more teachers. And also we lack teaching and learning resources in the school. Most of them are prepared by the teachers and sometimes are not sufficient enough to be used in their school. So we need help in that aspect as well. We plead to our listening, whoever that, that is watching us, and these kids plead that you should come to their aid.